Biggest fish in my boat this year was a 72 pounder, 71.96 to be exact. Last 20 minutes of actually fishing, maybe. And that's where it all happened. Welcome to Tazin TV, I'm Brett Amundsen. Here at Tazin Lake Lodge on the sandy beach on the shore of Tazin Lake. Now this lodge was built back in the late 1950s, early 1960s, and it was a booming business. Popular mechanics even sent their outdoor writer up here to do a story and find out just how good the lake trout fishing was. In that article, he talked about how big the lakers were, how many there were, what kind of lures they were using, the gear, the boats, and the other day I was trolling around not too far from the lodge here using an underwater camera and came across something completely unexpected. Now that boat looks like it might be one of the original boats used here at Tazan Lake Lodge. And I'm not completely sure where I ran across that boat with the camera, but today we're gonna go out there and try to find it and see just how old that boat was. And probably do some fishing too, since right before that, I had nine different trout on camera following my hook. Let's go see if we can learn a little bit more history about Tazan Lake and Tazan Lake Lodge. I didn't find the boat that day, but I did hook in to one of Taz and Lake's famous giants. They're fishing. So right now, all I've been pretty much doing is catching up to the fish, and we'll get vertical with them, or her, I guess. And then that's when uh, fun really begins. There he goes. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here he's right here. What's oh, a big fish? Oh. Big fish. Wow, yeah, baby. Oh, come on. Nice. <laughs> Go, buddy. Yeah. yeah. Woo. All right. Nice. Cool. 45 or 26, boys. Nice fish. The Tazan Lake region has a rich history in mining. In the late 1930s, one company decided to build a hydroelectric dam just south of the lake. To feed more water into that dam, a one kilometer tunnel was blasted through rock in the southeast corner of Tazan Lake. That rerouted the current from north to south. No small feat when you're talking about horses and steam shovels. And in the years I've been coming to Tazan Lake, I've never been over to the other side of the tunnel. So Thomas Montgomery and I decided to head up the hill and see what's on the other side. I can't believe we didn't bring a fishing rod with us. A trip to the tunnel site doesn't just give you a glimpse into the past, but it offers some pretty good fishing opportunities as well. Change the flow of thousand from North, it used to flow down to the south. It flows down Lake Athabasca and powers our hydro dams down there. Great. Yeah, certainly. <laughs> That's a nice fish, buddy. Beautiful. So what was the technique you used to catch that fish? I ran the chartreuse <laughs> flatty. Are you up? Good stuff. Yeah, about 23 feet of water. Nice just like done. Plant. Right through that narrow. And up come a nice trout. Beauty. There we go. Perfect. 
get another one. Went out already once today, ran an out, about an hour's worth of underwater footage, didn't find the boat. I went back and reviewed the footage. I know about when I started, and I know about how far into, into the videos that I saw that boat. I know the general area that I was at. Looks like it's in about 30 feet of water based on the, the water clarity and the light penetration. So I'm gonna target the area that I think it might be in and look for about 30 feet of water on the bottom and see if we can't find this boat. So I'm just out from the resort. You can see the lodge right there. We got an island out in front of it right here. And there's trout that are all over this between this point and this island right here. They kind of run this trough and depending on which way the wind is blowing, they'll sit on either side of it. There's some good humps in here. Always a lot of trout and you don't have to go very far. So I'm gonna see if I can't catch some fish too. And uh, we're gonna try to entice them with this healthy burbo from Savage and see what we can find right out here. Hopefully, I mean, I wanna catch some fish, don't get me wrong, but I wanna catch a boat. Here we go. No luck in that search either. So Trevor and I headed out to look for Big Pike, while Thomas and his girlfriend, Brooke, fished nearby. And on, buddy. I just took the good one of there, Brett. All right. You come under the water and come and grab it, bud. Hit it right away? Yeah. Hit the water, three cranks, boom. Oh, oh I thought you were going to spit her there for a sec. Oh, yeah, buddy. Look at it. Good one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right on, buddy. Go. Going for a run. Uh. Boy, he's a nice one. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna grab the net. Yeah, whenever you're ready, buddy. It don't matter. Be nice to get in the net, though. Yeah, he's a nice fish. There's our mid. <laughs> mid to high. <laughs> hey. What do you think? Go on, shoot me a number. What do you, what do you think, Mr. Ambison? Oh, gosh. How big of a fish is that, that northern? I'm gonna say 46. 46 incher? I'd say you're pretty close. It looks like a mid to high 46. <laughs> hey, got Trevor. Hey, 49 inch bike. All right, just a beauty, dude. Big cast, long cast out there, boom. Brought her in, sweet. Doing some exploring here with Barry. Barry, here there's another mine on this island. We're rich. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Polly, what do they look? What do they see here? What made them mine here? Oh, because of the quartz veins and how the structure works within the shear zone here. So you have intrusion, which is the veins, and the shearing goes north-south uh, veining intrusion, and then east-west uh, shearing. So that gives it the prime spot of uh, ore deposit. Oh. 
After leaving the mine, Barry and I decided to beat the oncoming storm with a quick stop into a pike bay. We should probably think about going. As soon as we got into the bay, I dropped down the underwater camera. I was still pulling out all the other camera gear when Barry hooked up with a big fish. The only problem was my line was about to get tangled with his. To make matters worse, I was about to get snagged on a log. It turned into a complete circus. We did everything we could not to lose this fish. And at one point during the fight, you'll notice on the camera what looks like an even bigger pike swimming next to us. So we had to keep pressure on that fish while trying to get my line unsnagged, then get it untangled from Barry's line so we could land this big pike. I don't know how we did it. Beautiful day here at Tazan Lake. It's uh, last day before I fly out, and we're gonna try to find that boat. I've been trying to find this boat here uh, ever since we saw it on the camera. Haven't been able to find it again, but we know the general area. So I've got an underwater camera on once again. I've got the uh, Lowrance working overtime. We're gonna see if we can find it. Find out how old this thing is. Even got different colored trails, so I know where I've been before. Here we go. Trout can be so aggressive that sometimes they just plain old miss the hook. And sometimes they skip right past your lure and go straight for the camera. While the trout kept me entertained, it wasn't what I was looking for. And earlier in that day, I had a lead. A boat that had sunk to the bottom had been spotted not far off ashore. After taking a good look at this boat, it was clear it was not the same. So the mystery will have to remain until next summer. Nice job, number three on the night for you. Hello. Oh my gosh, that's a huge fish. Oh my. That's a huge fish.